Hi, I'm Will Hunter, Managing Director of MTA Automation. We specialize in volumetric dispensing and robotic soldering. This is our volumetric dispensing head, the continuous flow version. It is mechanically controlled volume, and this is different from a time pressure system in that time pressure system can vary based on pressure, it can vary based on temperatures, the viscosity of the material, etc. Whereas a volumetric system has a very precisely controlled amount of material that comes out. And this is very important if you have to do controlled size dots of material, if you need to do potting or encapsulation where you need to avoid air pockets forming and you need to have a controlled flow from the bottom up or if you want to trace lines for doing seals or bonding different materials, you can coordinate the flow rate of this device with the motion of the robot to generate nice uniform beads around the perimeter of your product. So we've designed this particular unit to be compatible with a lot of different materials. It's both mechanically and chemically compatible with materials. It works with materials that are filled. It works with high viscosity, low viscosity materials, it works with solvents, greases, uh, adhesives, two-part epoxies. We have a lot of different options for the materials inside in order to facilitate that compatibility. As you can see here, we have five different sizes of the continuous flow dispenser. So that's your first option is what size do you want? Then we have different size rotor and stators inside each one of these to give a different subsection of um, flow rates. We can change the material of the wetted parts between stainless steel or peak for chem chemical compatibility. We have several different rotor materials as well as several different stator materials. These all give you a lot of versatility in what type of materials you can dispense. As for the control side of it, we have three different motor options that we can put on here that not only give you a different motor, but also your different uh, controls platform that you will be working with. As far as the mixing, we can do this with a more traditional way of a static mixing tube, or if you're working with really small volumes, it's helpful to be able to use a dynamic mixing chamber. And a dynamic mixing chamber is different from a static mixing tube in that a static mixing tube is sized according to the number of folds that you need to have in your material, and a dynamic mixing chamber is sized according to your shot size. So we just put a small amount of material according to your shot size, in the dynamic mixing chamber. We use a numerically controlled beater to mix that material just before we shoot it, and then we dispense that material. The mixing chamber is now filled with new A and B material that is not mixed yet, so it lengthens the pot life. And this is really important when you're doing small shots that could otherwise start to pot in a static mixing tube. So this is our soldering robot. This platform is called the TR300. It's a tabletop robot. We have several different standard platforms we can work with. This is the tabletop version, as I mentioned. In addition to that, we have a machine cell version. All of the bracketry on this unit is billet machined to give you a good, robust structure. And all of this is really important because if you don't have your wire feeder directly at the head, let's say, for example, you mount the wire feeder at a static location and then push the wire through a long feed tube to get to the solder joint, you really start to lose control over how much wire you're feeding to the joint, both in terms of the springiness of having the wire feeding through a feed tube, and also that wire is going to change length as this moves around in the X and Y and also rotating. That's going to cause your wire feed to change length. What really makes our soldering technology unique is the soldering head itself. So what I'll show you here is the, the head. So we have our iron on this side. It is pneumatically actuated, independent of the Z-axis, and this gives you good compliance with your part because as we know, um, parts can have a different Z-height from part to part, so having this compliance built in is really nice. We have our wire feeder directly on the head. We have the ability to monitor and know exactly how much wire was fed to every joint because we monitor the motion of the solder wire, not the rotation of the drive motor. Other thing that I would say about this machine is it's purpose built. We don't take an off the shelf robot and then put our head on that robot because it's very difficult to find an off the shelf robot 
that has such a small footprint, but is capable of carrying such a heavy uh, end of arm tool as this head. So we purpose built this one in order to be able to support everything that's needed at the, at the end of arm tooling within a small footprint. The light curtains are included, the controls are included, we have our own Windows-based software. All of the controls are on one screen on the software, so the robot motion, the solder process, and even the light curtains are built into the same software. So if you'd like to learn more about our volumetric dispensing or robotic soldering applications, please feel free to contact us. You can reach us at www.mtaautomation.com. There's two A's directly adjacent. You can send us samples. We'll be happy to test them for you. We have our lab technicians that are available to help answer questions. We can set up a Teams meeting with you in order to get a preliminary overview of what it is that you want to accomplish and work on this as a partnership.